Good morning, everybody. This is Gil. Welcome to the podcast again. Listen, uh, UFC 291 was one of the best uh, UFC shows I've seen in a while. Uh, great pay per view. Uh, Derek Lewis is hilarious. Sound bite after sound bite after sound bite. This guy is just the best. I love what he does. I love the, his personality, the way he talks, everything. Um, so I just pulled together uh, a compilation of all his, not all, many of his in-ring interviews after the fight in the octagon, his interviews, it's brief. Uh, some of the interviews are two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, but either way, I pulled it together. Here is the Derek uh, Lewis compilation uh, from his UFC in octagon interviews. Later. So forgive me, April, I gotta ask, what happened last night? <laughs> he was hurt yesterday. <laughs> Derek, don't tell me, man. You, you, you were talking all that mess in the octagon and don't tell me that you didn't come through. Man, I'm still hurting right now. We still ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My hand broken, look. Oh, he broke. Wow, it's that's puffed up bad. You did you break it when you hit him? Yeah, the first punch when he when I first dropped him, so I hit his elbow too. So that's what happened. I hit the tip of his elbow. April, I heard you like Tupac. <laughs> I love Tupac. <laughs> I love Ronda. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I gotta ask. I got April. Is the band over? Because it's my fault, because I get Derek on here, and then I ask him about it. He's just a good guy, so it's my fault, really. But is is the ban over uh, that that Derek explained last week that, you know, you, you, you guys, you, you know, you haven't, you haven't uh, given him any because of his comments about Ronda? Is that over because he goes in last night and gets that big W, and he made you so proud? We saw you on TV, so happy. Is the ban over? The band is over. I've been trying to get him all day, but he's tired. Yeah, I, I don't got it in me, man. I'm hurting. <laughs> I got to put in a good performance, man. I can't put a half-ass performance. Lay that like a starfish. <laughs> to land the knockout blow. I just know I had a bigger heart than him. You know, he called himself a man, but he like put his hands on women. So... Forget that guy, I got much, much more heart than he has. You know, go around there, rise and find that ass. Getting back to the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Three minutes, 12 seconds, round number two. We have your winner by KO Victory, the Black Base, Derek. All right, I'm here with your winner, Derek Lewis. Tremendous comfort behind victory. You're holding your body. How badly were you hurt to the body in the first round? I just got to do number two. That's all. It's not really hurting from the kick. But I just got a boo-boo. There you have it, folks. Yeah, obviously, you want to get inside kick range, but you also focused a lot on your cardio. As you move into fighting the elite of the heavyweight division, do you think that's still a focus moving forward so that you could go for five rounds? Yeah, of course, you know. We just got to go back. Like I said before, press reset button. I need a break. You know, fighting every other month or every two months like that just put me in a bad mood at home with my family. So I just feel like I just need some time off. I don't want to hear nothing about no fighting in the next three months. Seeing that and, and all the, the, the win streak that you have right now, Obviously, there's no names, but do you feel like you were a little overtrained coming into the octagon tonight? Oh, for sure. You know, plus all the training and all the sex I've been getting. Yeah, my body needs some time off. All right, well, take a look at the big screen. Let's take a look at the finish and just talk me through it. I know you were hurting to the stomach. You were gassed a little bit, but you found a way to get it done again. Yeah, for sure. Right here, I was like, I hopefully he do what I always been training to do, you know. So he came in. I wanted to slip his right. And so it worked just as my coach taught me. You know, I want to give a shout out to Alex Chain. I appreciate him for helping me a lot in this camp too. And Four Arms Fight Club in Houston Muay Thai and all my training partners. In Canada, man, I love you guys, man. Hey.
You know, I'm from Texas. I'm not with all this snow, man. Y'all can have that shit. For real. Well, enjoy your break, sir. We look forward for your comeback. And when you're back in this octagon, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Lewis. Derek, there's been a lot of uh, rumors of a Ronda Rousey return to fighting. I was just curious how exciting that's been. <laughs> Got <him. laughs> I was, in, I was in the mood to tell y'all ass up. Don't be starting off with a question like that, man. That's funny. But I already know all the questions you guys about to ask me. You know, yes, I still have. And um, the last few fights, I haven't been healthy. You know, point blank period. Just before weigh-ins, I blacked out. My coaches had to, to carry me. The little guy right there in the middle, he had to hold me up. And I'm already at weight right now. You know, um, I don't believe I had to cut anything. I'm already at weight. This guy right here, even though I don't remember his name, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Sergei. after Saturday I'm going to remember his name. But what's his name? Oh, well, it's, it's not Sergey, but I was going to say maybe you could call him that. It's Marcos Rosario, but Marco. he's been fighting a lot of Sergeys lately, so I thought it might be easier. Yeah, yeah. Then it was a Russian guy, too, I lost to. God damn. No offense to Russia, but damn, man. Come on, man. You're saying you feel good, but did part of you feel like it might be some sort of sick joke that they want you to fight at 5,000 feet in the air? I was like, man, it's my luck, man. As soon as um, I felt like I did everything right, you know, cross every eye, what they be saying, dot every eye, whatever. I did everything right, and now I'm fighting in the elevation. Like, damn, man, now I'm got to worry about me gassing out. And so whenever I got the call, and so I was already, we already was training and stuff like that. And so I was, just felt like I just needed to train a little bit harder, you know, because we was going to be fighting the elevation. I don't want to gas out, so we, we did everything we, we could in training to make sure that don't happen. Genuine question. You didn't know his name. If you walked past Marcos now in the hotel, would you recognize that you were fighting him on Saturday? Um, I just started watching his videos Thursday, and I just finally seen a picture of him on like Thursday. And so that's all I've been seeing now is just his face. But, yes, I would recognize him. Cool. Uh, this is a bit off topic, but... You've spoken about your sort of weirdness with Elon Musk and some of the things he does. If he fought Zuckerberg, what? you should when be complaining he that, that he was... You, one time you complained that he was altering the stock market with his tweets. Oh, okay. You said it. What about it? If he fights Zuckerberg, are you rooting for Mark Zuckerberg? Are you rooting for Elon? Or how do you care about that fight? Um, Actually, shit, we got a um, Tesla plant right now at home. And my house is running off a water well. And so it's way over there by the garage and separate from the house. And... um. The Tesla socket been setting off my circuit, my, my, my breakers, me tearing my breakers up. And so we haven't been having water and we're trying to figure out why, but it's wow. been the damn Tesla plug and the car just keep breaking the breaker. So I'm going with the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Justin and Dustin, the rematch for the BMF title? My thoughts on it? Um, it should be a good fight. <laughs> 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 mm, we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm happy. yeah, I'm happy to be sir. Of course. Well, well, yeah. I couldn't do it. Shit. Appreciate it. <laughs> but you said you were going to come in here and tear us all up, but don't you feel like we like you? You come in here and we no, I was going to tear your ass up. I was going to talk so much shit. I was going to, for sure, it's going to be controversy, but I'm glad, I'm glad y'all worked it through. I you know, appreciate y'all. Y'all settled me down. So I was going to tear you up. So I know you had some shit to say about me. One follow up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my diet it was actually my diet man it's like it just it's hard man it was hard it was hard to um stop eating all the stuff i was eating and really train the way i was supposed to train and you know i've been we've been doing this for a long time and i only been rock once and that was against um um ty that was it the other guy the russian guy he didn't even hit me y'all seen that the guy ain't hit me in this last fight, the guy just wrestled me well, with no energy. Then I guess you just shut down that narrative. Yeah. And I only been stopped another time um, against Matt Metrion, and that was it. So I don't know what they're talking about what, by all the other stuff. All right. But another thing I want to talk about, though, since y'all have me here, you know, I'm not going to have too much of your time. You know how the black preachers be talking. But um, y'all for sure see a six pack on me this weekend. Even after weigh-ins, I'm gonna have a six pack. If not, if <laughs> if not, if not, y'all could talk shit post fight. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to talk shit post fight if I don't have a six pack during my fight. <laughs> I'm here with the winner, Derek Lewis. Derek, why'd you take your pants off? My balls was hot. I understand. Listen, man, what you just did was absolutely phenomenal. That was an incredible 
comeback victory. And it, it shows one of the reasons why people love to watch you fight, that you can put it all to bed with one shot. I told them, boys, I got no more heart. You know, they keep underestimating me. Shit, I ain't all that technical and all that, but shit, I'm getting there. Fuck it. No one will question your heart, sir, after this. Let's take a look at the knockout. This is a come from behind knockout, the likes that we haven't seen in a long time. And you were looking for that big haymaker all night. You found it in the last minute of the fight. Talk us through this, Derek. I forgot a few hours before the fight, Donald Trump called me and told me I got knocked this Russian motherfucker out because they're making him look bad on the news. You know, him and Putin and shit. Fuck what they're talking about, USA and this whole fuck. Listen, Derek. You came into this fight, the number two contender, with that knockout. You're absolutely one of the top guys in line for a shot at the title next. So tell us what you think about that. I need to sit my black ass down and do some more cardio. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about right now. I ain't trying to fight for no title right now. Not with no gas tank like that. She. <laughs> Listen, Derek, you're one of the most entertaining guys in the sport. Congratulations on an amazing victory. And thank you very much for a really, really entertaining fight. Thanks for having me. Hey, maybe next week or sometime or two weeks from now, I'm going to come on your show and smoke some weed with you. Anytime, sir. Anytime. And you got the best Instagram in the game. I'll tell you right now. Derek Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by GKO. Congratulations, sir. I'm here with the winner, Derek Lewis. Derek, you have the most knockouts in the history of the sport. Now you rated it up to 14, and what a phenomenal one it was. Did you plan to open with that flying knee? Hell no. I just said... <laughs> I just said, let me throw some if it lands, and I did. It, it landed perfect. Yeah. Did you plan to take your shorts off? I didn't. My you know, your got a mind of his own. Now, Derek, what, what an absolutely flawless performance for you. How are you feeling right now? Man, it's a long time coming, man. I've been wanting to hit him. For two years now, I finally hit somebody. I was, I was happy to move from it. Well, let's take a look at it, Derek. Let's take a look specifically at that flying knee because it was absolutely perfect. You landed it right on the chin. Hey, that's all the hard work, my coach. He's been drilling that, that same switch knee for the last five years. And by damn, I'm glad it finally landed. So I was about to give up on it. <laughs> no bull. Well, it was fantastic. It was phenomenal. It was a flawless performance. What's next for you? We'll see. I'm a free agent now, so hopefully I can get another contract with the USC. If not, it is what it is. Well, we want to see you stay here, man. We love you very much. And you're one of the most exciting guys to ever compete in this sport. I appreciate it, Shout out to my wife. Enjoy the love.